will make America great again. He understands now who he needs to put in these positions. They're disruptors in their own right in That's a great way for the American people. And it's going to be to our benefit. That's the word. Thank you, Laura. I've been searching for that word all week. Disruptors. President-elect Trump will make more cabinet selections this week. Despite the fast pace of naming these appointments, many members of Congress are questioning whether they will get past the Senate confirmation process. This transition is moving so much faster. Either they did a lot of pre-preparation or Trump's just riffing. Matt Gates is one of his best weapons in Congress. He's taking him out of Congress and he's giving him the Attorney General's office. He really doesn't have very much legal experience, particularly if you compare him to many of the other Attorney Generals that have been serving. The two women represented by a Florida attorney told House Ethic Committee investigators Gates paid them for sex. One of the women also claimed she saw Gates having sex with a 17 year old, but said he stopped once he learned her age. Pete Hegseth is facing new controversy. He not only faces scrutiny on his experience, but also a sexual assault accusation. Hegseth paid a woman who accused him of sexual assault in 2017 as part of a settlement agreement, though claiming the encounter was consensual. I was deemed an extremist because of a tattoo by my National Guard unit in Washington, D.C. His bicep clearly shows the words deus vault research showed that it had become popular with the Proud Boys and other extremist groups that participated in the siege at the Capitol. Tech mogul Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, and former Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, also a businessman, will spearhead the Department of Government Efficiency, an acronym that just so happens to spell Doge the cryptocurrency linked to Musk. Musk pitched the idea directly to Trump earlier this year. I think it would be great to just have a government efficiency commission that takes a look at, uh, at, at these things and and just ensures that the taxpayer money, the, the taxpayer's hard-earned money is spent in a good way. Take over, Eli! Both of these men have conflicts of interest or have investigations or have, have, have massive contracts with the U.S. government and they will be in a position to cut programs, cut jobs, cut budgets, and, and at the very least, see where all the money is getting spent. Trump's Health and Human Services Secretary nominee, RFK Jr., promises to take on ultra-processed foods and his pledge to make America healthy again. He's been a vaccine skeptic for nearly two decades and has shared misinformation on a range of public health issues. People who got the vaccine had a 23% higher death rate from all causes at the end of that study. But that could not be the disease itself? No, well, because we know that- If it is, it, then the vaccine doesn't work, does well, it? Well, the, it, it's, it's early- <laughs> Well, no, no, that's not, that's not true at all. COVID-19 is targeted to attack uh, Caucasians and, uh, and, uh, and uh, black people. The people who are most immune are Ashkenazi Jews and, uh, and Chinese. These claims are false. Health specialists have said the virus didn't target any specific ethnic group, and the number of COVID cases had more to do with larger or intergenerational households. One of the most controversial Trump picks is Tulsi Gabbard, the former Democrat turned Republican, accused by detractors of being a Russian asset and a danger to national intelligence. Putin doesn't want to negotiate, clearly doesn't want to negotiate. There's been many attempts at negotiation. So when you see images of dead women and I'm children, not aware of you, of, and when you see Zelensky neighborhoods sitting down blown out, Putin yet. we have all watched her tow the line of some brutal despotic regimes uh, defending Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, engaging in secret diplomacy with Bashar al-Assad in the middle of his murderous rampage. She served in the National Guard for two decades. She served two years on the House Homeland Security Committee, but she has no experience in intelligence or intelligence gathering. Yet this position oversees agencies like the CIA, FBI, and National Security Agency. I think having Tulsi as DNI and Matt Gates as the Attorney General and Bobby Kennedy at, at the Health Department, these are the best picks that Trump's made. This is Pierce.
This right here, can you guys see that on the camera? That's me playing the world's smallest violin for all these crying Democrats. We will make America great again.